There's been a resurgence of 3D platformers in recent years, and I can add another one to that growing list in Woodle Tree 2 Deluxe, now out on PS4. But should you go out on a limb and buy this one right away, or just leave it alone? Woodle Tree 2 Deluxe is the follow-up to Woodle Tree Adventures Deluxe, and it's a much grander adventure than that original game. It's an open-world 3D platformer where you take the role of Woodle, a small creature who has to try to restore his world that's being overrun by this evil dark slime. Woodle must travel the different areas of this open world, you can pretty much tackle any area you want to at any time, in order to collect these magical water droplets that will end up restoring Woodle's world. The game is very much a 3D platformer, running, jumping, and gliding through the game's areas to collect these various water droplets. You have your typical themes for the areas, you have desert, forest, water type areas that you'll be going to. There's lots of various hazards like the dark slime that will instantly take you out if you jump into it. Thankfully there are plenty of checkpoints scattered throughout each of the areas and you can fast travel to any checkpoint you unlock, so getting back to previously explored areas or getting back to a high ledge once you've fallen off is usually not too much of a problem spot. Combat is very basic though, just kind of mashing the button to take out most of the enemies, and there's only a few times where you actually have to take out enemies, usually at the end of the area to unlock the final water droplet for that particular level, but for the most part you can just skip a majority of enemies throughout the game. However, if you do take out the enemies, they'll usually end up dropping these berries as well as you can find them all throughout the course of the game in every nook and cranny. If you like collecting things, there's a fair amount of things to keep an eye out for throughout Woodle Tree 2. You can use the berries that you collect, the different ones, to buy either different moves or buy pieces of costumes that you can end up equipping to Woodle to give it a little bit of customization. Due to the open world nature of the game, Woodle Tree 2 is a bit of a relaxing experience, and I think that openness will be something that some really end up enjoying. The game can also be played up to four players locally exploring the world, so that's a big plus as well. The game does a decent enough job also with trying to point you in the right direction. While it doesn't have like a big indicator on screen at all times telling you where to go, there are signs everywhere with arrows on them to let you know what's the direction you should be heading to potentially go through each level and get to those various water droplets. And while gathering every collectible in the game will probably take you quite a bit, if you're more focused on just playing through the main story, getting through the levels, it's not necessarily an extremely long game, around 4 to 5 hours to complete. One of my only real gripes, and thankfully you can at least do some stuff like inverting the axis, is the camera itself. You have to kind of manually control it. Thankfully you can quickly bring it behind Woodle, but there were plenty of times where it just wasn't in the right place when I needed it to be. Presentation-wise, the graphics really aren't anything special. The world, though, created in Woodle Tree 2 is a cute one that at least aesthetically wasn't too bad to look at, and some of the music included wasn't bad either. From the technical side of things, a couple of minor glitches here and there, but thankfully the game never crashed on me. Woodle Tree 2 Deluxe is available on the PlayStation 4 for $12.99, and it does feature a Platinum Trophy. The game is also available on the Nintendo Switch and PC. Overall, Woodle Tree 2 Deluxe is a nice little 3D platformer that does have a few issues that keep it from being amazing, but thankfully, the relatively low price, you will most likely end up enjoying it if you're a big fan of collecting and 3D platformers in general. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Woodle Tree 2 Deluxe on the PlayStation 4 a 7 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review, though. I'd like to thank for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoy.